thing and all those things took place and MDRF and uh, SDRS played an important role. So impressed with this success, we took up a similar exercise for the Shillong earthquake of 1897. This 1897 Shillong earthquake is a very important earthquake. This is a first earthquake which provided an evidence that during the earthquake, the excavation can exceed much because there were boulders sitting in the sockets which came out. And Oldham uh, wrote a wonderful paper on this paper, on this earthquake, which is still considered as a thesis. And uh, many people resist this cause particularly both. So, this was our 1897 and 1897, all these details are there. And uh, we went through a similar exercise, created a map of how much uh, damage will take place, etc., etc. <coughs> Uh, these are the maps, Shilonga King, 1997, before, after, before, after. Now, North East India is a very special place where almost 12 earthquakes, 10 earthquakes of 97.5 occurred between 1897 to 1952, nothing after that. So, same thing, we again estimated what are the likely loss of life. Is diagonal eight lakh forty-three lakhs, eight lakh forty-three thousand in the eight states, and then here it was a much more mega because eight states were involved, and we had Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, etc. Northeast Council was a host for this exercises, and this just shows the area, and similar exercises were conducted. Be aware, be prepared, be organized. When our quake strikes, what we can do. And uh, I must tell you that uh, the local people who take so much interest, <coughs> they were rallies taken out and they, they just said, let's uh, give us the banners. We'll take, tell you about the rallies. Nobody has campaigned. The places where that Mumbai was uh, conducted, see. And the uh, locals where observers were set up were, you know, busy places, etc, etc, et Meetings taking place. And uh, state disaster response force, as I was telling you, they were the main keeper of uh, telling people how to do, what to do. And here are initial disaster response force. So this was a combined exam example of all the functionaries of the state and the center. So again, then the mob will test the readiness, etc, etc. So it will be important that uh, if some similar exercise is done for Jammu and Kashmir, you can think of a repeat of uh, Bangladesh earthquake, even if you take up the Muzaffarabha earthquake, or you shift it towards the Jammu, and then uh, carry out uh, the kind of things that you should do, and what should be done. And our positive outcome was a state administration, hand-on experience, awareness generation, the gaps were identified. But what happens that if there is no repeatability of this, we forget about it. So doing once is good to tell them, but then you need some kind of a better support. I'm taking up two or three other issues. Very often people say that a measure 9 or 2 can occur in the body. This question has really bugged me. Because the largest uh, earthquake that we ever had on a on is a 15th August 1950 Assam earthquake. That was meant 8.7. And since I have told you that uh, every magnitude means difference or increase by 30, 8.7 to 9 means at least 4 5 times bigger. So, Maya, these are all the magnitude 9 earthquakes, they have mostly occurred on the plate boundaries. No magnitude earthquake has occurred. And so many people have written so many papers against the Metroid earthquake in Ivana, which I think is just a waste of time. Uh, the reason is this that uh, obviously you have to have a fault which is long enough to store energy which is released to generate 40,000 Hiroshima kind of atom bomb energy. Such a fault does not exist in Madhya. 
and Himalayas Carlos and so many complete faults. So there is no option of the Himalaya. This is capable of fossil energy. Actually, sometimes I even doubt this concept of the statistical gap between the 1934 Bhyana Parante and 1935 Amarante. Because I looked very carefully and I found no of the the earthquake gap is defined as a gap where an earthquake of a certain magnitude has not been written in a period longer than the street time. And in between 1906 and 1935, uh, I found an earthquake of a certain magnitude. I'm just touching a very uh, interesting uh, issue. You see what happens at the time you set an update of ground earthquake is occurred, then the aftershocks continue. And these aftershocks bring more visibility. The buildings are already quite uh, damaged by the main earthquake, and after that you are getting aftershocks. So if you can estimate the duration for which the aftershocks of the large earthquake are continue. It is very helpful for the local people for organizing relief work for rebuild of etc. etc. So uh, I will not go into the technical side of it, but uh, there is a relation which tells us uh, we can use it. So we have used it uh, for the Sichuan earthquake of 2008. And we keep on testing it in the right place. And then we have come to realize that the duration of M5 earthquake was stated in 300 days, which was found to be true. Uh, these are the earthquakes which have happened within uh, 300 kilometers of uh, Sichuan earthquake, which was 2008. These are the earthquakes that we have been studying over there. And then we are able to fit this overall situation and uh, came to values that from the first 100 days of the data, we were able to estimate that this surplus will not continue for more than 300 days, which was a useful report. These are the after duration of some Himalayan earthquakes. Uh, this is, uh, I think, from Muzaffarabad, yeah, Muzaffarabad, then uh, this is. Uh, First is Muzakara, second is Sichuan, and third is Bolkarpe. And finally, you come up with uh, some kind of relationship. So these are very helpful in uh, sort of estimating the relation of occurrence of this earthquake. Now, that earthquake has occurred and uh, it has laid uh, more than 50,000 lives. The count has not been really stopped because there are still several areas. But the has not been removed. And how many people are going there is not known. So we have just uh, made use of the first 28 days time. And uh, after fitting this relation, we have anticipated that these are this will continue for about 250 days and 55 years. I'm coming to another very important issue, which is comparing what happened has happened in the past. And what has happened recently? So, Richter wrote a beautiful book, Elementary Sexology, in 1958, and this is a chapter devoted to some modern earthquakes. And there he has mentioned five earthquakes, starting from Kutch, Shillong, Kahura, Vyanapal, and Asa. Buddha was born in India at the time. So, these are all mentioned 8.0, 8.7, 8.4, etc. Human lives lost, Kutch earthquake 1500, Shiram earthquake 1500, Bangla earthquake 2000, Bihar earthquake 13,000, Dota 13,000, and uh, Assam 4000. But we should also keep in mind that what kind of population we had at that time. Because uh, with the increase of population, the lives were lost in Goa. So India at that time we had a population of 200 million, 1890. In 1989, it was 220, 250. Here, Dhyanapal, 360, India, 500. Goya, 460, 365. And Assam was 
of olive in, in your mind to be able to follow me. Now, these earthquakes have not really occurred again, but in nearby regions, comparable normal saying as follows space have occurred. So, we had the Puja Kripa 26 January 2001, which occurred close to the Kachan The population had gone to 1000 million. The life loss was 20,000. So, this is just shows that we have not taken care of the developments properly. So, that earlier we lost 1500 life, we have got 20,000 life. So, population has gone up, construction has gone up, that is it. Muzaffarabad earthquake, 87,000. Then, here we had the Koyta earthquake and the, and the Kahn earthquake, east and south of it. And comparable number of people were lost, and here 87,000 people were lost. Only difference is Gorkha earthquake, because in the earthquake, we had lost 30,000 lives, there were only 10,000 lives are lost. The population has increased. And why this happened? When you go into details, two things happened. Nepal has safe life. And we have one day exercise where everyone is told what to do, what to not to do. In Kathmandu, there are spots identified that when you get the first tremor, which are the places you should move to. Those are places which will have least effect of the earthquake waves that will come. And also, as I mentioned earlier, that we must uh, think of setting up earthquake early warning systems, which gives you a lead time of 15 or 20 seconds. So these are the things which one must take into consideration. So my suggestion would be that we should plan. And this is something which I stayed on with Jammu and Kashmir, or even the Jammu University, with Kashmir University or on your own to decide to have a earthquake day. You can choose for fit that day or any other day which is convenient. And go religiously so that people keep on remembering that what is happening. <coughs> Addressing school spirits, that is something uh, which is lovely and it doesn't take much effort. The students are so enthusiastic about it. Just now the North East Institute of Science and Technology in uh, Jodhan, they have started this program and they have uh, so far educated some 15,000 school children. Their school are small, you know, school strength would be 500, 1,000 small, small schools. So they want to many schools of that. And life and building is, of course, uh, an extremely important issue. Because if your life and building is poor, what will you do? So this is something which will help you. And then, of course, senior scenarios and public participation is actually very important. I'm sure that uh, this is something very really achievable. But I'm very thankful for your very patient listening. I mean, indeed, uh, wish you all the best and ever developing such a society. And uh, I have to thank, because what I have presented is the outcome of several of my colleagues, NDMA, NIS, NDR, NDRF, SDRF, State and Central Government Agencies and uh, thank Dr. Pandita, Dr. Kar and their colleagues and uh, your Vice Chancellor for the interesting statement. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.